good evening and God bless you. We're going to go ahead and get on live early tonight for our prayer and praise, uh, Goldsburg Chapel. Uh, we are certainly uh, glad that the Lord has blessed us uh, to come through uh, this week. And I pray that you've had a, a great week. And uh, we just give God the glory. We give him the praise tonight. Uh, we are a little early tonight coming on. I would just just want to go ahead and, and get situated and um, bless you for uh, tuning in as people are beginning to come in um, to the live feed. So we, we are grateful for you tonight. Uh, good evening, Elaine Wallace. God bless you. You've been very faithful uh, about following uh, the live broadcast. And we pray that all is well uh, with you and your families. Um, and don't hesitate to share in the comment and let us know uh, what's going on uh, in your world because as we begin to use uh, this Facebook, uh, praise God, I certainly want to hear uh, what is going on with you and your family. So we give God the glory. Uh, we give him the praise and honor tonight and uh, just so thankful. Good to see you, Ashley, on tonight. God bless you. Brother Raymond, God bless you, Raymond. Thank you. Uh, for being such a faithful uh, steward and being so attentive to our sessions and I enjoy watching you I know that you go live quite a bit as well uh, very fervent um, man of God a great praying man and I thank God for you uh, Sheila Dunn God bless you it's your birthday today what are you doing on Facebook and it's your birthday today my my sister uh, Sheila Dunn uh, God bless you Sheila uh, Sharon Patterson, God bless you. Sister Connie Best, um, Connie Williams, God bless you on tonight. Uh, we are grateful. We are thanking God. Amen. Um, for all of you guys coming in tonight. And we just want to make a point of connect. Uh, as I stated uh, last time we was on the air, uh, we're going to be relatively brief tonight. Thank you, Julian. How you doing? Um, put something in the comment and let the pastor know how you're doing. I know things are, are getting really hectic there in uh, New York. So, Pastor, we want to certainly hear from you. We've been praying for you. Uh, I know that a lot is going on there. So, please put in the comment, uh, Julian, let us know how uh, you are doing. Um, praise God. Still need a word. Amen. Sound just like a preacher. Uh, Sheila Dunn, still need a word. God bless you on your birthday. Um, and I do believe it's your 57th birthday. Praise God. I thought you were 47. To God be, <laughs> to God be the glory. Uh, your brother got to catch up. The Lord bless us in June. We will uh, be 50 this year. The Lord shall allow us to see it. Uh, but we thank God for you, Sheila. Amen. Praise God. Yes, Brother Raymond. You are certainly welcome, my brother. I thank God for you. Uh, you're a great inspiration. Uh, you mean so very much to our church family. And uh, Sharon W. Patterson, you amazing. I praise God. Every family has to have an anchor. And certainly you are one of the anchors uh, in your family, the Roe family. And I thank God for you. Um, you are a tremendous, tremendous uh, woman of God. And I thank God for you and your family. And certainly even thank God for your husband as well. Um, good evening, uh, Kelly Henry. God bless you. Uh, so, Sister Kelly, if you're up here, I know that um, Deacon Yarbrough ain't too far behind if he's not already up here. Good evening. God bless you. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory uh, on tonight. Just making sure that I haven't uh, omitted anyone that is online with us because I certainly want to uh, see the folk. God bless you, Dr. Isla. Amen. Type something in the comment. Say something to us. Praise God. God bless you and Brother Harold. Sandra Coley. That's Mother Coley or Sandra Coley. It's somebody in the Coley family. Praise God. We thank God for you guys on tonight. Thank you, Deacon Farmer. Uh, you've been very faithful about uh, tuning in to the broadcast. So we are excited to see all you guys tonight. And uh, I just want to take this opportunity to, to love up on the ones that are coming in. Lori Mitchell Savage, God bless you on this evening. Amen. God bless you, Dr. Coley. Uh, Dr. Coley or Mother Coley. Good evening. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Julian, uh, for uh, letting us know 
Uh, what's going on? We are hanging in there. Yes, things are pretty rough here in New York City, but we are still alive, and that's what matters. Amen. Stand indoors as much as possible. Needed to get out soon. Amen. Kevin McFadden. Thank you, my brother. I was very um, moved by your comment um, that you uh, shared on Facebook, I think, last evening um, about the impact that the church has made uh, in your life. So we thank God for that on tonight. Sister Pat, God bless you. Uh, we're going to ask that this time uh, that we will uh, have a word of prayer. I want to keep this session relatively short tonight. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to tie you up. Yeah, is someone on the conference call? All participants are muted and they can unmute them. All participants Praise God. Are muted. I've got somebody coming in on the uh, All participants are conference call. Who's on the conference call with us tonight? Martha, Max, Maxine. God, God bless you, Martha. Good. God bless you, Maxine. Amen. I had to. Uh, my Facebook people, I had to check my uh, conference call. We've got a, a few people on uh, the conference call as well. But we're going to offer a prayer for this evening. I want to share a uh, scripture. And um, we want to um, uh, begin even now to do that. So let us pray. Praise God. Our God, our Father, we thank you. Tonight we give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. I want to thank you for all those that have tuned in uh, via the conference call or via Facebook Live. God, we just give you glory. We realize that we're living in times now that we must and we have to be as close to you as we've ever been. God, this is a praying time. This is a fasting time. This is a time of repentance. This is a time of reflection. And I pray, dear Lord, that you would touch each one of our hearts and our minds as we go through our daily routines that we will keep you first in all that we say and do tonight. And not only tonight, Lord, but as we go forward, we give you glory. We realize, God, that there's so much that's going on uh, even around us. But, God, help us to stay focused on you. Help us to stay in tune with your word. And, God, we give you the glory tonight and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody out there shout amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Uh, on on tonight, I, I do want to uh, acknowledge that there are some um, within our congregation uh, that do work in the health uh, field, and uh, we certainly want them, those individuals, to know that we are uh, laying before the Lord. We are praying for you. Um, two that come to mind are Sister uh, Thomasina um, Battle, and um, also Takeda Battle. And I know that we have others that are working in the healthcare field as well. And certainly we want to lift those individuals up that God will protect them. And not only them, but there's so many people that are working in our community uh, that are really working together, trying to do all that they can uh, to make the situation better. As we see the evening news, we realize, praise God, as God's people, that things are beginning uh, to deteriorate. Uh, but we must also keep our focus and keep our attention on God. Uh, God is still in control. Uh, and if, if you know that God is in control, uh, there is a sense of peace uh, that comes over you. Uh, as I've said in previous broadcasts, we've got to be careful. Uh, we've got to be mindful of the things we do. Uh, we need to be obedient to even the things that we are being asked. Um, sadly, my brothers and sisters, people are still uh, not taking this serious. Uh, so we have to even pray even the more and intercede uh, for those individuals. We are living in very serious times, very dire times. And uh, most of you, um, some that even tune in that are in your late 80s, um, you know, you just talk to people um, all day and uh, every week. And every, the story is the same, that we've never seen anything like this before. Uh, God is moving uh, in the midst of us. And praise uh, God, those that are wise uh, will certainly understand that. Uh, I want to lift up a uh, passage tonight. Uh, if you have um, uh, some of your favorite verses as well, if you want to share those uh, in the comment, um, certainly uh, we want to uh, acknowledge those. Uh, but one of my favorite, very favorite scriptures um, that I often read and meditate on is Psalm 27. 
Psalm 27, of course, is a Psalm of David. And I want to read that Psalm on tonight um, in its entirety, all 14 verses. And there David declares that the Lord is my light and my salvation. And salvation means deliverer. So the Lord is my light and my deliverer. Uh, whom shall I fear? Uh, the Lord is the strength of my life. Uh, of whom shall I be afraid? And that's good news, brothers and sisters, when we can say that the Lord is the strength of our lives. Uh, we are, have a sense of peace. And David declared that the Lord is my light. He is my deliverer. Every time that I've been in a situation, uh, David would declare that God have delivered me. And whom shall I fear? Uh, the Lord is the strength of my life. And my prayer, beloved, is that that's all our prayer, uh, that the Lord is the strength of my life. And when the Lord is the strength of your life, then the question becomes, whom shall I be afraid? Uh, praise God. We thank God. And verse 2 says, And when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they did stumble and fall. And uh, every time I read this verse, I think about um, the late uh, Nathaniel Best. He would oftentimes read this. One of our ministers, uh, Elders Best's uh, husband, he would often read this uh, scripture. And I would always get tickled with him uh, because when he would read verse 2, when he, he would say, uh, when the wicked, even mine enemies and my photos uh, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they did stumble and fell. I certainly uh, do miss Elder Bess. He was a great character. Uh, we thank God uh, even for Elder Bess, and we thank God that God has continued to bless her as she continued to serve as associate minister of our church, teach Sunday school, uh, praise God, and uh, a prayer warrior. We thank God for her tonight. So David declares, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they did stumble and fall. Uh, that's good news, my brothers and sisters, because it lets us know that even in times when the enemy will come upon us to destroy us, um, David's testimony, and, and I believe that this is our testimony as well, um, that the enemy uh, stumbled and failed. And uh, I know there's some hallelujahs out there tonight. I know there's some glory be to God uh, because certainly I know that you've experienced those situations in your life where the enemy came. But as the enemy came, he did stumble and fall. And listen, though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war shall rise against me and this will I be confident. Um, praise God. We thank God that God gives us confidence as his people. We're not cocky. We're not arrogant. Praise God. But we do have confidence in the Lord. And David declared, though a host uh, should encamp against me, and my heart shall not fear, and the war shall rise against me, in this will I be Listen to this verse 4. The thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Um, that begins to be, praise God, in my estimation, uh, a great thing that when we begin to seek after the Lord and uh, turn our focus on the things of God. And I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I pray that your hunger uh, for God has not diminished. I pray that your hunger for God has not diminished uh, in the midst of all that's going on. I pray that, in fact, your spiritual hunger has increased uh, to even come closer, even the more to God Almighty. Amen. Listen, verse 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. Isn't it good news, praise God, that God has a hiding place, uh, that even in the midst of trouble, God is able to cover us and God is able to keep us. And I know somebody out there is a witness. Uh, we have been in trouble. We have been sick. Praise God. We have faced all types of adversity in our lives. And the record will show, praise God, that in the midst of this, that God has covered us. God has shielded us. God has protected us. And for that, we give him the glory and we give him all the praise. For in the time of trouble, he will hide me in his pavilion. In the seeker of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. God is not going anywhere. Praise God. God is a sure foundation. And as people are looking to all types of solutions and alternatives to ease their minds, I pray to God that we are looking to the rock of our salvation, who is Jesus Christ. Uh, verse 6. 
and now shall my head be lifted above my enemy round about me. Therefore I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. That lets us know, my brothers and sisters, that as God is our deliverer, God is our protector, praise God that we should be the people that have our heads lifted up, not in arrogance and not in pride, but in confidence, knowing that God is with us and that God is going to protect us. And then David declares that, yea, I will sing, I will sing praises unto the lord and i pray to god tonight that you are still singing to the glory of god i pray tonight that you are still lifting up the name of jesus i pray tonight that you are still encouraging your spirit my brothers and sisters the reality is that things are bad and they're getting worse but we must continue to know that god is our light and god is our salvation Praise God. And because God is our light and because God is our deliverer, God will guide us. And not only will God guide us, but God will deliver us. We believe that on tonight and we give him the glory. We give him the praise and we give him all the honor. Praise God. I pray that all is going well with you and your families, whatever state that you find yourself in as paul declared praise god that no matter what state i have find myself i have learned to be content knowing that the god of all creation praise god will see his people through we thank god for that on tonight verse 7 of psalm 27 reads hear o lord when i cry with my voice have mercy also upon me and answer me praise god my beloved that is what we need in this hour in this time of great uh, affliction as people are falling out left and right that we want to hear we want God to hear our cry and we want God to have mercy on our souls we thank God that God is a merciful God when thou said seek my face my heart said unto thee thy face Lord will I seek when God speaks to you when God talks to you is that your reply when God says seek my face my heart said because a lot of times people say a lot of things with their mouth but does your heart say it amen thy face lord will i see praise god these are times my my um, brothers and sisters that we need to be seeking god not looking for him we need to be seeking god in everything that we do i pray that every morning that we get up we asking god to lead us guide us and cover us and use us through that day for his glory Praise God. Verse 9. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. And that just lets us know. Praise God. And even in the midst of our transgression and our sins. One thing that we cannot afford to do. Is for God to hide his face from us. Put not thy servant away in thy anger. Thou have been my help. Is that our testimony tonight? Yes, it is our testimony tonight. That praise God, that God have been our help. Lead me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my mother, excuse me, when my father and my mother forsake me, isn't it good to know that the Lord will take me up? Yes, God will. God will lift us up and God will keep us and God will protect us. That even when our father and even when our mothers in some cases have forsaken us, that the Lord will take us up, that God will take us in his hands and God will take care of us. That's good news tonight. And praise God, we thank God that we serve that type of God. And then, my brothers and sisters, because we are God's people, we understand that we need to be taught by the Lord. So it says in verse 11, teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path. There's nothing complicated about following the Lord. There's nothing complicated about salvation. We got to believe in our heart, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, and yield ourselves to the will of our Father. Praise God. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. And that lets us know, my brothers and sisters, sometimes you can't step to the right and you can't step to the left because the enemy is all around. We need God to lead us in a plain path and to make sure that we are following his footsteps because steps of a good man the steps of a good man or a good woman also are order of the lord verse 12 deliver me not over to the will of my enemies we all got enemies i've got them you've got them 
and sometimes the reality is that if the enemy had his way in our lives my brothers and sisters we would not be able to make it so our prayer constantly is deliver me not over to the will of my enemy for false witness arisen against me and such as prove out cruelty we live in a time now where people just assume to lie on you to kill you steal from you and rob you but we thank god that god we believe if he does allow us to fall in the hands of the enemy i believe that god is well able to use what the devil meant for bad to turn around for his glory somebody ought to shout amen in glory land praise god verse 13 and we almost finished tonight but verse 13 i have fainted unless i believe to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living that scripture is so powerful that is one of my favorite verses in all of scripture i had fainted unless i had believed to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living god is a good god that even in the midst of tribulations in the midst of trials god is good praise god and when god is in your life and when god is upholding you and when god is 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 steadying you praise god you're not going to faint we faint my brothers and sisters when we lean on ourselves when we depend on our flesh when we depend on our intellect when we need to depend on our money god is showing us my brothers and sisters that we're living in a time now that the only thing that we can have confidence in and truly lean on and depend on is god almighty only god can cover us in times like these only god is able to protect us in times like these only god can keep us inspired and encouraged in times like these i would have fainted unless i had believed to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living somebody ought to shout hallelujah thank you jesus and the last verse on tonight God is saying to his people, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom will I be afraid? My brothers and sisters, continue to seek the Lord. Continue to trust him. Continue to hold on to his hand, and God will see us through i want to take this time as we come to the close of our broadcast uh on this evening uh goldsburg chapel our friends uh affiliates of the church you have been amazing you have responded so beautifully and i get the reports uh from our secretary uh, who's doing a marvelous job who's doing an outstanding job uh trustee alice uh, Wooten Johnson. I thank God for her and I thank God for the church family and I thank God for your faithfulness. I thank God, praise God, that you're continuing to turn into the broadcast. I can't begin to share with you how much that really means to me that you're still in tune with the Word of God, that you're still faithful to Goldsburg Chapel, that you are continuing uh, to do as, as has been asked of you and you have been very faithful. So I don't want to end this broadcast without saying to you, thank you. Thank you for every act of kindness. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your phone calls. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the kind words that you have shared on Facebook, whether uh, in text. Um, many of you text me, and I, I look forward to your text. I look forward to hearing from you. It is very encouraging. It is very inspiring. Praise God to know that we are still connected. And we say to the enemy, he is defeated. He have no power. He have no authority. We're going to keep our hands in the hands of God. We're going to continue to uphold the bloodstained banner. Because we know, praise God, that even in this, God is still God. God still has all power. God still has all authority. Are you encouraged tonight? My brothers and sisters, when we look at the news and when we get news briefings on a daily basis, I pray that you would know in your spirit that these folk don't have the answers. In fact, they are overwhelmed. Praise God. We got to turn to God Almighty. God is the only thing that can save us. Praise God. God is the only one that can keep us 
in the midst of what's going on praise god it's good that we're getting these stimulus checks it's good that all of these protective measures are being taken but yet my beloved brothers and sisters let us not get it twisted the answer resides in god almighty and god is worthy to be praised somebody shout amen and glory to his name i want to thank god for all the educators i want to thank god for all the teachers uh dr isla i know that you are continuing to do a great job praise god your husband um, brother harold isla jr we certainly send our prayers out to him and to his uh staff and certainly to all of you that had turned in from far and near from west on um pennsylvania praise god McFadden family to right there in Goldsboro praise God I thank God for all of you and even right here from Aiden North Carolina we are sending our love to you continue to be faithful continue to tune in and mother Cole, I pray that you're watching and I'm so sorry that on uh, Wednesday we were not on this channel but rest assured praise God that we will continue to get the word out rest assured that we will continue to lift you in prayer continue to pray for me continue to pray for Elder Collins and I am so grateful and I'm so pleased that God is working in the midst of us on tonight as a preacher it's hard to stop talking but I'm gonna stop tonight and I'm gonna say I love you just know that we're praying for you God bless you for the Lord is our light and our salvation whom shall we fear good evening god bless you